Okay, this is your rock cycle worksheet. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to label the three kinds of rocks. You should have a sheet of paper and you can be following along by drawing your own pictures so you can have these as well. The first thing we do when we start off is we have to have the name of the different rocks. And there's three different kinds of rocks. And that's called an igneous rock. So we're going to put that up at this top one. It's spelled I-G-N-E-O-U-S. And we're calling it a rock. And the next one I'm going to talk about is a sedimentary rock. That's spelled S-E-D-I-M-E-N-T-A-R-Y. And the last one is the metamorphic rock. M-E-T-A-M-O-R-P-H-I-C. Now we have our three kinds of rocks and they look kind of like rocks. They've got all the rocks around them to show that those are going to be the rock types. And we need to start off, anytime we look at a, a rock cycle, you all the first thing you want to find is the magma. So the magma happens to be this big old splat. We're going to start off with that one being red. And so I'm going to get my colored pencils that I happen to have. I left out bringing those. And we're going to be coloring that red. And I'm just going to give it some color just to say, I am liquid rock. I'm inside the volcano. I am magma. Now, you know that magma is found in a volcano, so I'm going to actually make this kind of like a volcano, showing that I am going to be either made inside the volcano or I made outside the volcano. From there, we're going to be talking about the things that you will see. If you are a rock that's formed outside the volcano, we're going to be exiting the volcano. We're actually going to be split, uh, thrown out of the volcano. There are going to be little pieces going out and these little pieces are called sediment. And so I'm going to put, add some red over here because that's going to be some of the sediment, little tiny specks of the weathering of the, of the rock. So these are some of the um, rock pieces that are flying out of the volcano. If you are exiting the volcano, you are called extrusive. If you're an extrusive rock, you are made outside a volcano. So you have to be formed outside the volcano. If you are formed in, oh, let me draw a little rock. So we'll make this little purple guy be the rock. If that is you and you're outside the volcano, then you're called an extrusive rock. If this little purple guy was here inside the volcano, so if you're inside, you're called intrusive, and you're an intrusive rock, and you are formed inside a volcano. Now, if you're inside the volcano, or if you're just spitting out of the volcano, you are blistery hot. You are so hot that you're like melted, like on fire. Now, when you finally get to get away from the volcano, you're going to cool off and you're going to be nice and chilly away from that volcano. So this process of going away from a volcano is called cooling. So this process and all these arrows you'll have to know. So we're going to write the word cooling. So if you're cooling, that means you're going away from the volcano. And the only rock that can be made from the exiting of a, of a volcano is going to be an igneous rock. So that's the only answer it can be. So that's cooling down. Now, if you happen to be any rock, you could be an igneous rock, you could be a metamorphic rock, or even a sedimentary rock. If you go into a volcano, you're going to be melted. So we're going to call those orange and those, both of those, anything that points towards a volcano is going to be melted. So we're going to be melting 
whatever you are. If you're a metamorphic rock, if you're a sedimentary rock, even if you're a sediment, all those, those are going to be melted as you get closer to the volcano. So we're going to pick a, an orange color because you're getting hotter as you get close to it. So the word we're going to write there is the word melting. Every orange arrow will always be melting. Now there actually could be another arrow here from sedimentary going to the volcano or even from here. It just gets kind of a little crazy so we just kept those two over there. But just so you know you could have more. So now if you have any rock like a metamorphic rock if you go into a volcano you're going to be melted. If you're an igneous rock if you go into the volcano you're going to get melted. But if you get out of the volcano you're going to be cooling you immediately turn into an igneous rock. So in order to get out of the volcano, we changed our color to orange. So we're going to add some orange to our little spotted thing over here that we haven't talked about yet. And we did blue. So we're going to add blue to our little spotted thing over here. Because every color we come up with, we're going to add it over here to this area. So if we happen to be a, an igneous rock and we... I don't know, maybe you're, someone stepped on you or maybe there was a rock climber and he chipped off some of you. You're going to weather and erode and some deposition is going to move too. So all of these, anything that's pointing over here to all these little dots, we're going to add some green over here to this guy. He's going to be the word sediment. So all these dots are sediment. So every single arrow that points to sediment, so this is pointing to sediment and this one is pointing to sediment. All of these are going to be weathering, erosion, and deposition. So we're going to color all of those green. So every single rock can be broken down. So you can be an igneous rock and be broken down. You can be a sedimentary rock and be broken down. Or you can be a metamorphic rock. You can even be a sediment and break down your own self to even be more sediment. So we're going to write the word weathering, erosion, deposition. I'm actually just going to put a W, E, D for that one. I'm going to do the same thing with that one, weather, erosion, deposition. But I'm going to actually spell this one out. I'm going to put weathering, erosion, and deposition. That means you're going to deposit it somewhere else. Kind of like when y'all walk through the mud coming to school and you deposit that mud into my classroom. Oh, that was crazy. Okay, so let's say every one of these rocks breaks down. They're all going to turn into sediment. So we need to add some green. If I didn't do that, let's make sure we have some green in there. The next color we're going to use is we need to take all these little pieces of sediment and we need them to be stuck together. And that word that we're going to use is called cementing and compacting. So we're going to take a C for cementing. Oh, I was supposed to be writing it in this color. Okay, let's try that again. Cementing and compacting. The arrow is supposed to be purple. So this is moving away. So the only thing that can be made from sediment when you cement and compact it, it's going to be a sedimentary rock. Now, one of the silly things is if you take a C for cementing and you take another C, but your C is going that way, if you put them together, they make this S for sedimentary. So you've got your C cementing. Here's your other C, but it's backwards, I know. When you hook the two together, they make the S for sedimentary rock. So that should help you remember that if you have a sediment, you're going to make a sedimentary rock through cementing, compacting, if that helps. Hopefully that helps. The next thing, we only have two arrows left, and that is how in the world do we get to be a metamorphic rock? Those colors are going to be yellow, and it is imperative that you learn these colors because in our school, we teach with the colors to help you remember which one's which. And we always look for the same colors because whatever one yellow is, it's the same thing for the other yellow. So we make them both yellow. And we're going to call that heat and pressure. And both of them are the same thing. Heat and pressure. 
Again, if you take sediments and you add heat and pressure, you're going to be making metamorphic rock. If you have an igneous rock and you add heat and pressure, you're going to make metamorphic. Now, if you start melting, then you're going to become magma to cool off to become an igneous rock. If you're a sedimentary rock and you add heat and pressure, then you're going to become a metamorphic rock. So it matters where you're pointing to. Now, if you're a metamorphic rock, one of the cool things with that is there's something called foliated, and it means you have stripes. So if you happen to see a rock that has some stripe looking things to it, then that means it's foliated and that makes it a metamorphic rock. So foliated means it has stripes. Now not every metamorphic rock has it, but it's the only rock you will see foliated stripes. The sedimentary you'll see, it'll look kind of like a chocolate chip cookie. It's just little chunks of rocks that are all stuck together. Um, but metamorphic is the one you can actually get these stripes out of. Now when you do your own paper and you've done your coloring, one of the things you can do for your flip grid assignment is to create your own picture. So I took the same picture and I cut the pieces out and then for your flip grid you can put the whole thing together and say this is my rock cycle. I have my igneous rock. I am going to weather and erode. It's going to make sediments. When I compact those it will make a sedimentary rock. The sedimentary can be weather and eroded and I can add heat and pressure to my sedimentary and make a metamorphic rock. I can take my igneous rock and add heat and pressure and make a metamorphic rock. And see how I'm talking through the whole rock cycle so you're showing that you know the answers. If I'm an igneous rock and I melt, then I become magma. And the magma is rocks formed outside the volcano, extrusive rocks, and then rocks inside the volcano are intrusive rocks. And if I'm a metamorphic rock and I melt, I become magma. And if I'm magma and I cool off, I become igneous. And voila! You have since done your flip grid, and the foliated is the one that's on this one for metamorphic. And voila, that is your lesson. So have fun, make your own rock cycle, and show me your creativity at what you can do.